Good morning, America. This is Chip Matthews reporting with Channel 7 News. Bringing news out of the local municipal court where the IWA has been acquitted on all charges after 12 key informants failed to appear in court. This, of course, a huge shock to the prosecution team. They were sure they had a slam dunk case against Commissioner Henderson and his son, Tucker Henderson. But after 12 key informants failed to show up, lacking evidence, the court had to dismiss the charges on the IWA due to lack of evidence. Authorities and officials are left angry and with no one to charge of these crimes that they had suspected the IWA of committing. This is Chip Matthews, and we will have more with this story as it develops. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to IWA Monday Night Carnage. It is Marty Feldspar, and we bring to you another action-packed show ahead of Thursday night's premiere pre-recorded event. Summer Slugfest! And ladies and gentlemen, Marty Feldspar reporting here at the IWA HQ with fantastic news. The IWA has been acquitted on all charges, which means we resume business as usual. Which means you can expect to see more violence here at the IWA. And our first match of the evening, an extreme tag match where Jay Trigger and Hellcat take on the Realtor and NFT. The next match of the evening, an Extreme Rules match to determine the number one contender for the IWA Internet Champion, Nacho Libre, taking on Captain Extremo. Following that is a triple threat match for the IWA United States Champion. Renny Loco takes on Isaac the Stockbro and Kyle White. Following that is an Extreme Rules match between Luda and Mr. Mike to determine the number one contender for the IWA Light Heavyweight Champion. And the main event of the evening, an extreme tag match. McCoy partners up with the IWA Champion Warren Swanson as they take on Foes, Lincoln Burton, and Big Russ. And now we have NFT and the Realtor making their way down to the ring. These two representatives of the market. Two of the biggest assholes here in the IWA. The Realtor, a man who loves to scam people into his nefarious real estate dealings. And NFT, a guy who likes to run around and scam people into buying non-fungible tokens that he convinces people have value. And I am Marty Feldspar reporting to you and saying I may or may have not purchased those NFTs. And as a result, I may or may have not lost a lot of money due to buying said NFTs. And that is maybe why I hate NFTs so much. But Marty Feldspar does not hold grudges. So therefore, I remain unbiased. And ladies and gentlemen, be sure to tune in this Thursday on September 5th, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. IWA presents the Fight Night of the Summer, Summer Slugfest. And ladies and gentlemen, we wait here for this new team to make their way down to the ring. And this team is consisting of the man named Jay Trigger and his partner Hellcat. These two men made their debut in the IWA weeks ago, along with their leader Luda. And they represent the Luda gang. And I have received word here and some intel on these two men. This man here, Jay Trigger, once a hometown basketball hero who had his NBA dreams shattered when he was caught with 25 illegal firearms. And this man had to spend two years in federal prison as a result. Meanwhile, his partner here, Hellcat in this white t-shirt, a very famous local street racer this man, Hellcat, is the Northeastern United States Underground Street Racing Champion for the past three years. And now he has decided to take his shot at professional wrestling. And now, these two men face off against two very tough sons of bitches, the realtor 
and NFT. Oh, and Jay Trigger immediately with a flying clothesline to NFT and a Hellcat with a drop kick to the realtor. And Jay Trigger with a flying DDT to NFT. Oh, and a big right hand and a big right hand by Jay Trigger and a drop kick. And Hellcat now with his three amigos. And now, high intensity here in the beginning of this match. Oh, and a flying DDT to the NFT man. And Jay Trigger's beating NFT's ass like he got duped into buying some NFT's. And Hellcat is beating the realtor's ass like he got duped into a crony real estate deal. Oh, and Jay Trigger attacking the thighs of NFT. <laughs> and Jay Trigger towering over that top rope. And Hellcat with a flying DDT through the ropes. Oh my, I got aroused by that one. Ooh, and Jay Trigger throwing the football at NFT. And Jay Trigger now grabbing that foldable table. Hitting NFT with the foldable table while Hellcat is beating the absolute shit out of the realtor. And now we have Jay Trigger picking up NFT. Big right hand and a big right hand. Oh, and popping jabs. And Jay Trigger with the footwork and a big right hand. And Jay Trigger now, big rights and lefts to NFT, and a flying clothesline. And you've got Hellcat in the ring with the football, kicking the realtor, and a Hurricane Arana to the realtor, sending him down to the canvas. And Hellcat now picking up that football once again. Oh, and a big backbreaker by Jay Trigger. And the realtor driving the knee into Hellcat. Oh, and Jay Trigger getting thrown into the steel steps. And Jay Trigger now returning rights to NFT. And Hellcat getting leaned up against the turnbuckle. And the realtor's picking Hellcat up. Oh, and Jay Trigger with a big power bomb to NFT. And the realtor calling for Hellcat to get up to his feet. And the realtor driving the shoulder into Hellcat. Oh, and Jay Trigger getting thrown into the steel steps once again. And now NFT throwing Jay Trigger across the ringside. Oh, and look at Hellcat throwing elbows. More elbows to the realtor. And Hellcat now with a springboard SRT splash. And now we have Hellcat grabbing the hockey stick. Footballs, hockey sticks. These men are turning this IWA HQ into the goddamn athletic department. And now, Jay Trigger throwing NFT towards the steel steps. And look at the realtor running towards Jay Trigger. And Jay Trigger luring realtor over. And now, Jay Trigger popping the jab at the realtor with the fancy footwork and the big right hand. And Hellcat kicking NFT in the gut. Oh, and Hellcat with a sunset power bomb to NFT. And Jay Trigger picking the realtor up. Oh, and NFT kicking out of the two count. And Jay Trigger leading the realtor along the table. And Jay Trigger picking the realtor up. Suplex through the table. And Jay Trigger immediately reaching under the ring again. This man has sick thoughts in his head. And he is just setting that table up, but the table goes falling down. And now, Jay Trigger grabbing a baseball bat, reiterating the fact that this IWA HQ is turning into the goddamn athletic department. And now NFT and the realtor double teaming Jay Trigger as Hellcat makes his way to the action. And now, Jay Trigger Grabbing NFT, throwing NFT into the ground. Hellcat beating the shit out of the realtor with a baseball bat. Hellcat with a baseball bat, and the referee is not counting. The realtor must have bribed him off. That slick son of a bitch. And Hellcat now with a scat springboard slam. Ha <laughs> ha. And Jay Trigger setting the table on fire as Hellcat lines up for his finishing move. And Jay Trigger picking NFT up. And Jay Trigger 
as NFT up, powerbomb through the table, and Hellcat has just hit the SRT stomp on the Realtor. And the Luda Gang is victorious tonight. Oh my, what a fantastic display of wrestling from these two men. And Jay Trigger putting NFT through the flaming table. Meanwhile, Hellcat hitting the SRT stomp on the Realtor. And with that victory, these two men have just earned themselves a spot in the eight-man ladder match for the IWA Tag Team Champions. Following that action is an Extreme Rules match to determine the number one contender for the IWA Internet Champion. Nacho Libre takes on the one and only Captain Extremo. And Nacho Libre, Captain Extremo already in the ring, ready to get it on here tonight. And these two badasses are here fighting at the IWA. And Captain Extremo getting drop kicked by Nacho Libre. And Nacho Libre kicking Captain Extremo in the gut. And Nacho Libre with a big suplex to Captain Extremo. And Captain Extremo showing some fight and a Brooklyn backflip by Captain Extremo. And Captain Extremo now reaching under the ring. What's he got in store here for Nacho Libre? He's got the foldable table. And Nacho Libre running off the ropes. And Nacho Libre getting caught in between the legs of Captain Extremo, who is now pouncing on Nacho Libre. And Captain Extremo picking Nacho Libre up. Suplex! Onto the table, but Nacho Libre kipping him up and drop kicking Captain Extremo down to the ground. And Nacho Libre attacking Captain Extremo. But Captain Extremo now with the walls of Jericho to Nacho Libre. And Nacho Libre is gonna tap out here. And Nacho Libre with superhuman strength kicking Captain Extremo away from him. Oh, and Nacho Libre with a Hurricane Arana. And now Libre picking the foldable table up but Captain Extremo with a springboard splash on Nacho Libre. And Nacho Libre, a fan favorite here at the IWA, getting picked up by Captain Extremo, who just throws him face first into the canvas. And Nacho Libre rolling out of the ring now. And Captain Extremo has that fluorescent light tube in his hands. And Nacho Libre throwing his body to Captain Extremo. And Nacho Libre now picking Captain Extremo up. Oh, and a big... Power of God, power bomb by Nacho Libre. Ooh, and Nacho Libre getting kicked or kneed in the back, should I say. And now Nacho Libre grabbing Captain Extremo and throwing his body into the floor. And now Nacho Libre grabbing Captain Extremo once again and Irish whipping him towards the barricade. And now Nacho Libre has the trash can in his hands. But Captain Extremo with a twist of face stunner onto Nacho Libre. And Libre is laying flat on the ground as Captain Extremo throws that trash can right at him. And Captain Extremo with a baseball bat trying to end the life of Nacho Libre. And Libre throwing Captain Extremo towards the announce table. Once again, Nacho Libre throwing Captain Extremo's body right towards the announce table. And now Nacho Libre has Captain Extremo leaned up and laying Captain Extremo across the announce table and picking him up. But Captain Extremo grabbing Nacho Libre for a big suplex off the announce table. That's got to hurt his ass. And now Captain Extremo in full control of this match. You see these weapons across the ring and across the ring side. And Nacho Libre picking Captain Extremo up. And what does Nacho Libre have in store here for Captain Extremo? Big chops and a big right hand and an eye poke by Nacho Libre. And Nacho Libre with a big reverse reverend power slam. And now Nacho Libre grabbing the foldable table. 
and looking to set it up. And the table just not complying with Nacho Libre. <laughs> oh! And Nacho Libre cracking Captain Extreme with the table. And the table once again not complying with Nacho Libre. And Nacho Libre throwing his body towards Captain Extremo. And Nacho Libre now. One amigo. Two amigos. Three amigos by Nacho Libre. And Nacho Libre heading towards the top rope. And Nacho Libre lining up for his finishing move. The son of God dive. And Captain Extremo doing very well to evade the attack. And now Captain Extremo, baseball bat in hand, looking to attack Nacho Libre, but Nacho Libre with a drop kick to Captain Extremo. And now we have Nacho Libre on his feet, dropping the elbow on Captain Extremo. And Nacho Libre on the top rope. And Nacho Libre with the Exodus elbow. And the referee counting to three. Nacho Libre has won the match and earned himself a number one contender spot for the IWA Internet Champion. And Captain Extremo put up a valiant fight against Nacho Libre, but the luchador too strong for Captain Extremo here tonight. And the Exodus Elbow seeing to it that Nacho Libre has a title match at Summer Slugfest. And Nacho Libre is gonna have a little boogie here. And if you wanna see him perhaps win a title, be sure to tune in to IWA Summer Slugfest this Thursday, September 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And ladies and gentlemen, the next match of the evening, a triple threat match for the IWA. What the hell is happening here? Nacho Libre is still beating the shit out of Captain Extremo. And Nacho Libre has just hurricane around Captain Extremo through the foldable table. And Nacho Libre sending a message to Justin Kennedy ahead of their match. Anyways, we have an Extreme Rules triple threat match between Kyle White, Isaac the Stock Pro, and Renny Loco for the IWA United States Champion. We have here Isaac the Stockbro returning from his business trip. Ha <laughs> ha! And all hell has broken loose since this man went on that business trip. His team, the Million Dollar Market, has not won a single match. They have just gotten their ass whooped every which way possible. And as you saw earlier, the realtor with his partner NFT getting their ass whooped by Jay Trigger and Hellcat of the Luda Gang. Isaac the Stock Pro has a chance to win himself some IWA gold. He has vowed that he will be an IWA champion before any of us know it. And I'll tell you what, personally, I just don't see it. This man, he's a great fighter and one sleazy, scummy, sack of shit. And I truly believe that he will cost himself due to his own greed before he gets a chance to win any IWA gold. And here's the stock pro now entering the ring as he just looks around at the IWA crowd that did not miss him one damn bit. Isaac the stock pro, a proud member of the market, one of the most evil groups here in the IWA. These men, notorious for scamming, they just want to fill their pockets with as much money as possible. And look at Isaac, the stock pro, as he just prepares to fight these other two men, Kyle White and Rennie Aloko. And as Kyle White makes his way down to the ring, we bring you the news that the IWA has been acquitted on all charges, meaning we can resume business as usual, bringing more violence more crime and more drama to you IWA fans. And now we just wait for the IWA United States Champion, Rennie Loco, to make his way down to the ring. And look at this man, Rennie Loco, 
yet to lose here in the IWA. This man, he has one hell of a story, let me tell you. At the age of 13, he discovered a drink called Four Loco. Ever since then, he has consumed a Four Loco. <laughs> At least once a day. Couple that in with the fact that he would only watch Jeff Hardy highlights. With that, you have a recipe for disaster. Or in our terms, you have a recipe for an IWA United States Champion. And look at him making his way into the ring. And if you notice that cute little kitty on his shirt, what the hell does that kitty mean? I don't know. But I'll tell you what, this man, Renny Loco, is a man who once you meet him, you're just gonna have a bunch of questions. And look at him just dancing around here at the IWA ring with fireworks in the background, a sombrero on, a big chain, and a cute cat on his t-shirt. And of course, the IWA United States Champion around his waist. And now we have here one glimpse at that beautiful IWA United States Champion that will be defended here tonight. And we have these three men in the ring now, ready to get it on. And our referee holding that IWA United States Champion for all to see. Isaac the Stock Bro, Kyle White, Renny Loco. And keep in mind, Isaac the Stock Bro and Kyle White, both big enemies of Renny Loco. And here's Renny Loco beating the shit out of both of them simultaneously. And Kyle White getting elbowed by Renny Loco. Isaac the Stock Bro throwing Renny Loco into the corner before Kyle White attacks his leg. And Renny Loco the standing swanton bomb on Isaac the Stock Bro. And Renny Loco with a big backflip on Isaac the Stock Bro. And Kyle White grabbing that foldable table. Ooh! And right, lefts and rights by Kyle White. But Renny Loco keeping up. Hurricane around it to Kyle White. And buff flipping onto Kyle White now. Hurricane around it to the stock bro. Renny Loco beating the shit out of both of his competitors tonight. And Kyle White throwing Renny Loco over the top rope. Isaac the stock bro making his way towards Kyle White. And Isaac the stock bro kneeing away at Kyle White. Renny Loco dropping the ass on nobody. And here we have Isaac the Stock Bro with the fluorescent light tube. Cracking it over the skull of the IWA United States Champion. And Isaac the Stock Bro now goes line to Renny Loco. Ooh, and a big boot to Renny Loco. And look at the Stock Bro go. He is absolutely pissed off. I'm guessing his business trip did not go well along with the fact that his IWA crew, the Million Dollar Market, did not do well while he was away on business. And Renny Loco now with that door. <laughs> As Isaac the Stockbroker gets tossed out of the ring by Kyle White, who goes and front flips over the top rope onto the Stockbro. And Renny Loco driving the steel chair into the gut of Kyle White. Renny Loco. Cracking the skull of Isaac the Stock Bro and cracking the skull of Kyle White. And Renny Loco just taking turns between both of these superstars, beating the dog shit out of both of them with that steel chair. Cracking Kyle White, cracking Isaac the Stock Bro. One by one. And Renny Loco now heading towards the top rope and he's looking to dive on. To an opponent, but he doesn't know which one. And he dives onto Isaac the Stock Bro Hurricane Arana from the top rope. Renny Loco now faking an entrance into the ring and driving the steel chair into the gut of Isaac the Stock Bro and driving the steel chair into the gut of Kyle White. And now attacking both men with the steel chair once again. And this man must have drank at least three, four locos before this match because he's absolutely off a of bean. And Hurricane Arana to Kyle White. Grabbing the Stock Bro now. And Renny Loco throwing the Stock Bro into the ring. Hurricane Arana to Kyle White. 
And what is the IWA United States Champion doing now? Grabbing the trash can, throwing it into the ring. Kyle White now grabbing the stock bro, picking him up as Rennie Loco grabs the foldable table and sets it up. And Rennie Loco now, big German suplex from Kyle White. Rennie Loco immediately kicking out. And Kyle White spearing Isaac the stock bro. And Randy Loco now getting leaned up against the top rope. And cracking Kyle White with an RKO. And Randy Loco is going to win the match here tonight. And Randy Loco at a two count. And Kyle White just kicking out. And Randy Loco now kicking away at Isaac the Stock Bro. A big front flip to Kyle White. And Randy Loco now kicking at Isaac the Stock Bro. Loco now grabbing the Stock Bro. And Randy Loco looking to pick the stock bro up. But Randy Loco is back just giving out. Oh, and a big right hand from the stock bro. And a big chop from the stock bro. And the stock bro now snaps suplex to Randy Loco. Oh, and Randy Loco with a punch to Isaac the stock bro. Irish whip to Kyle White. And Randy Loco, he's got some sick thoughts in his head. He wants to put the stock bro through the table. And welcome him back in fashion. And Randy Loco has Isaac the Stock Bro up. Power bomb. Not through the table though. He was worried that Kyle White was going to attack him. And Kyle White with a big right hand. And now he has Randy Loco in a headlock. And Randy Loco is going to tap out here. And Kyle White getting elbowed in the ribs. And Randy Loco rolling over for a pin. But Isaac the Stock Bro there to stop it. Oh. -ho. And Randy Loco getting thrown against the table by Isaac the Stock Bro, who has Randy Loco up. And Isaac the Stock Bro suplex through the table. If you're enjoying the action tonight, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're enjoying tonight's show, be sure to tune in to IWA Summer Slugfest this Thursday, September 5th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we have Randy Loco. On his feet, getting cracked with a steel chair by Isaac the Stock Bro. And the Stock Bro cracking Kyle White. And Isaac the Stock Bro picking Kyle White up for a Manhattan powerbomb. And Randy Loco breaking the pin up. And Randy Loco lining Isaac the Stock Bro up and cracking him in the head with a fluorescent light tube. And Randy Loco now kicking Isaac the Stock Bro. Sunset flip. And Kyle White throwing Rennie Loco in the ring. And Kyle White's charging up. Rennie Loco on his feet. Kyle White, German suplex to Isaac the Stock Bro. Rennie Loco cracking Kyle White in the head and pinning Isaac the Stock Bro. And the referee taking forever to count. And Rennie Loco now grabbing Isaac the Stock Bro, throwing him in the ring. Rennie Loco, Hurricane Arana to Kyle White. Isaac the Stock Bro making his way to his feet. Rennie Loco grabbing the fluorescent light tube. Missing. Cracking Isaac the Stock Bro in the body. And Rennie Loco now clearing off the announce table. And Rennie Loco has some sick thoughts in his mind. Hurricane Arana to Kyle White. Grabbing Isaac the Stock Bro. And Rennie Loco leaning Isaac the Stock Bro towards the announce table. Oh, and a big left hand and a big right hand to Kyle White. And Randy Loco now getting swung by Kyle White, but Randy Loco reversing it. Isaac the Stock Bro throwing Randy Loco in the ring now. And Isaac the Stock Bro kicking Randy Loco. Randy Loco kicking Isaac the Stock Bro. RKO to Isaac the Stock Bro. And Randy Loco going for the pin. Two count, three count, Randy Loco retains his IWA United States Champion. And Kyle White is left there looking like a dumbass. A Manhattan powerbomb to Kyle White. And RKO to Isaac the Stock Bro. And Randy Loco once again victorious here at the IWA. And Randy Loco retaining his IWA. United States Champion against two of his biggest foes here at the IWA. And look at this man. He's going to celebrate by drinking some four loco. And 
one fierce competitor here at the IWA. This man, Renny Loco. He knows how to fight, and he knows how to drink, and he knows how to cause mayhem. And ladies and gentlemen, you have heard of Love Thy Neighbor. Well, these two men, Luda and Mr. Mike, have not heard of Love Thy Neighbor. They have a long-standing beef with one another. Luda, a man who likes to go on a daily morning bike ride. But at the same time Luda goes on his bike ride, Mr. Mike is out for his daily walk. And when these two men cross paths every morning, haha, <laughs> let's just say, we might as well have the IWA camera crew there recording the fights that they've gotten into. Because I'll tell you what, these two men have had the cops called on them more than I've had to get checked for STDs. And let me tell you, Marty Feldspar had one hell of a time at the IWA World Tour. Ha <laughs> ha. But that is a story for another day. And we have Luda here in the ring, just looking around at the IWA crowd. And you see here, this man has Sally tatted on his neck and tatted in that heart on his left arm. And I'll tell you what, every time we ask him who this Sally lady is, Big Luda gets very angry with us, so I recommend you don't ask him. And here's Mr. Mike now making his way down to the ring, and he looks like he just put in a very long shift at the logistics factory in which he works. And when he puts in a long shift, he gets really, really pissed off. And you can believe that he is really, really pissed off at this moment as he makes his way down to the ring. Mr. Mike now making his way down to the ring to face off against the one they call Luda. And when Luda heard that Mr. Mike had been wrestling here at the IWA to make some extra money for his family, he couldn't help but ask and demand for a spot in the IWA. And here he is now after a very, from what I've heard, successful negotiation with Tucker Henderson, the new commissioner of the IWA. Luna has found himself a spot in the IWA along with his teammates, Jay Trigger and Hal Katz. And these three men have been raising Hal in the IWA ever since their debut. And Luda, last time we saw him in the IWA, he was putting his ass to the faces of the million dollar market. <laughs> and now Luda just staring at Mr. Mike as he gets kicked in the gut by Mr. Mike, but hurls him over and flips him on his ass. And Luda dropping the elbow on Mr. Mike. And Luda now, a body splash to Mr. Mike. And Luda. Grabbing Mr. Mike, big rights, big lefts, big rights. Oh, and a big clothesline over the top rope by Luda. Mr. Mike is on the ground, and Luda is on the top rope. And Luda now with a big splash to Mr. Mike. And Luda now heading towards the ring, just kidding, heading under the ring. And Luda grabbing a weapon. He's got the steel chair in hand. Cracking Mr. Mike in the gut. Cracking Mr. Mike in the knee. Oh, and another shot to the gut of Mr. Mike. And Luda is now beating the absolute shit out of Mr. Mike with a steel chair. And Luda using those tree trunks he has for arms to knock Mr. Mike on his ass. Oh, and cracking Mr. Mike with the Slim Jim. More Slim Jim shots. And Luda going berserk with the Slim Jim. Cracking Mr. Mike in the head. And now Luda reaching under the ring once again. And Luda now grabbing a football. Oh, and a perfect spiral into the body of Mr. Mike. And Mr. Mike throwing his body towards Luda. Spine buster from Mr. Mike. And Luda is on the ground. Just kidding, momentarily. Mr. Mike sending him back to the ground. And Mr. Mike now gaining some momentum in this fight. Headbuster by Luda. And Luda now reaching under the ring and grabbing the foldable table. 
the IWA fans' favorite weapon. And Luna now throwing Mike towards the ground and grabbing Mr. Mike, dropping the elbow on Mr. Mike. And Luna, big clothesline to Mr. Mike. Luna just talking to Mr. Mike, talking some shit. And Luna setting the table up once again. And he's gonna look to put Mr. Mike through the table, but dropping the body on Mr. Mike before any of that. And Luna now getting grabbed by Mr. Mike, and Mr. Mike throwing Luna through the table. And Luna immediately on his feet, dropping Mr. Mike down to the ground. And Luna now <laughs> reaching under the ring, looking for a weapon and grabbing the foldable table. He's looking to put Mr. Mike through the table like Mr. Mike did to him and Mr. Mike throwing his body towards Luda and going for the pinfall to get out of dodge. But Luda kicking out before the one count. Big rights and big lefts from Luda. And if you're enjoying tonight's show, be sure to tune in to Summer Slugfest Thursday, September 5th as Mr. Mike has Luda leaned up against the foldable table. And Mr. Mike spine buster through the table. And Mr. Mike going for the pinfall, and this will surely be it. And Luda has just kicked out before the one count. And Mr. Mike grabbing Luda by the neck and the balls. And Mr. Mike, dominator to Luda. And sayonara, Mr. Luda. And Luda just kicked out once again. And Luda's immediately on his feet. Big right, big left. Big right hand, big left hand. Big right hand, how is Mr. Mike still standing, taking all of these shots? And Luda with an overhand right to his back, sending him down to the ground. And Luda's pissed off now, and he's grabbing the foldable table once again. And Luda's looking to put Mr. Mike through this table like he did to him. And Mr. Mike is going to be burned alive here at the hands of Luda as he's just set the table on fire. And these IWA fans egging Luda on, chanting, this is awesome. This is not awesome, this is arson. They should be chanting, this is arson. This is arson. And no, Luda has Mr. Mike hoisted up, and Luda with a big power bomb through the flaming table. And the IWA has just been acquitted of all charges, and we are already back to committing felonies. And here's Luda setting the foldable table up. Leaning Mr. Mike against the table. And Luda picking Mr. Mike up. Sidewalk slam through the table. And Luda reaching under the ring once again. And this psychopath grabbing another table. It is now two to two on scoreboard for tables. And Luda's looking to put Mr. Mike through a table for the third time as he picks Mr. Mike up. And Luda walking Mr. Mike towards the table. Big power bomb through the table. And Luda's just dismantled this man, Mr. Mike. And Luda throwing Mr. Mike in the ring. And what the hell is going on here? Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this making their way down to the ring? And a quick distraction for Luda and Mr. Mike on his feet now, cracking Luda in the back. And Mr. Mike grabbing Luda by the neck, but Luda with a big elbow. Mr. Mike, hip toss to Luda, but Luda immediately on his feet. And big rights, big lefts, throwing Mr. Mike 10 feet in the air. And Luda now, big spinning fist to Mr. Mike. And what's Luda got in store now for Mr. Mike? Throwing Mr. Mike to the corner. Big right hand, big right hand, big right hand. Sending Mr. Mike down to the ground. And Luda grabbing Mr. Mike, Irish whip. Letting him run into Luda and just get struck by his own body. And Mr. Mike showing some fight. Irish whip to Luda. Luda. Running towards Mr. Mike. And Mr. Mike trucking Luda. But Luda's immediately on his feet. And big right hand from Luda. 
grabbing Mr. Mike. Irish whip towards the corner of the ring. And a big right hand from Luda, and a big right hand, and a big right hand, sending Mr. Mike down to the ground. And Luda, once again, Irish whip to the corner. Big right hand, big right hand, big right hand. And Mr. Mike getting his ass whooped in every corner of the ring. And Luda now going to the third corner, missing his right hand. And Mr. Mike, bear hug to Luda, and Luda might tap out here. Luda's just discombobulated Mr. Mike's balance by hitting both of his eardrums. And an Irish whip towards the corner. A big right hand, another right hand, and a third right hand. And Luda has that look on his face, the look that he has not shit in four days. And Luda with a stink face to Mr. Mike. And look at him, he's enjoying every second of it. And Mr. Mike has just been stink faced by a man who has not shit in four days. And Luda is victorious here at the IWA. And oh my, you see here Luda just putting the sweatiest ass in the IWA in the face of Mr. Mike. And look at Luda now. He is absolutely happy with his performance here tonight. As he just circles around the ring, the victor here against Mr. Mike, and he has just earned himself a shot at the IWA Light Heavyweight Championship at IWA Summer Slugfest. And ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening in Extreme Tag Match, Warren Swanson and McCoy face off against unlikely teammates, Lincoln Burren and Big Russ. And if you're wondering why in the blue Hell is Big Russ teaming up with Lincoln Burton of all people. It is because if you have been paying attention to the IWA in recent weeks, Warren Swanson has been cheating his way through his IWA matches, along with the help of his latest business partner, Tucker Henderson. And so, Big Russ, a man who prides himself on his ass kicking abilities, finds himself losing matches against someone like Warren Swanson? No, no, no. Big Russ had to go and make a plan, and he has devised the perfect plan, in my opinion. And that plan is to team up with longtime rival Lincoln Burton. And just for a reminder, as seen on the Channel 7 News, the IWA has been acquitted on all charges after 12 key informants failed to appear in court. That means our late great commissioner, Commissioner Henderson, and his sleazeball son, Tucker Henderson, have been acquitted on all charges, and the IWA can resume business as usual. And we have here Big Russ making his way down to the ring. And the former IWA champion has linked up with his longtime prison rival, Lincoln Burton, in hopes to dismantle the team of Warren Swanson and Tucker Henderson. And if you're wondering why a man like Big Russ had to outsource for this job, it is because he has it in his IWA contract that he cannot harm the commissioner, whether it be a wrestling match, whether the commissioner has sex with Big Russ's wife. Under no circumstances can Big Russ attack the commissioner. And so, what does this smart, smart man, Big Russ, do? He comes up with a wonderful, tremendous plan to hire Lincoln Burton, the hitman, to do his dirty work for him. In the case that the commissioner decides to show his face tonight and interfere with this match, and we just wait for Warren Swanson to make his way down to the ring. And the IWA champion, Warren Swanson, making his way down to the ring slowly, but surely. And this man is the champion indeed, but I have yet to see him defend his title in a clean manner. And look at him strutting around here with that IWA champion. And 
Warren Swanson, if you recall, he won that IWA champion after cashing in the money in the bank on IWA Monday Night Carnage. And he has been tormenting the IWA roster ever since. And Warren Swanson doing his famous Warren logistics strut down to the ring. That is the same way he walks around his logistics office acting like he's doing any kind of work. When in reality, he's just yelling at people all day long. And now, Warren Swanson taking his sweet ass time to enter the ring. And look at this sack of shit right here. This guy's a real, real piece of work. As he just walks into the ring with his red bottom shoes and wiping them red bottoms off. Slowly entering the ring and Warren Swanson is now in the ring, finally. And Warren Swanson will of course be defending his belt at IWA Summer Slugfest against Big Russ. And my only worry for that match is that the commissioner will have something to do with that match. And look at Warren Swanson looking at that IWA champion, a belt that he is starting to fall in love with the more he carries it around. And here we go, these four men about to get it on, and Big Russ immediately with a flying clothesline to McCoy, and Big Russ kicking Warren Swanson. Oh, and Big Russ with a big right hand to McCoy, and another big right hand to McCoy, and Big Russ with a big right hand, and more big right hands to McCoy. Smacking the shit out of McCoy. Lincoln Burren throwing Warren Swanson down to the ground. And Big Russ and Lincoln Burren are now jumping Warren Swanson. And, and Big Russ getting hit by Lincoln Burton. Lincoln Burton could not resist hitting his longtime foe. And Warren Swanson rolling up Big Russ for a pin. Big Russ cracking Warren Swanson in the body. McCoy getting elbowed by Lincoln Burton. And now, Big Russ, Lincoln Burton kicking the shit out of their opponents. And Lincoln Burton picking Warren Swanson up, driving him down to the canvas. And Warren Swanson getting pinned by Lincoln Burton. McCoy getting stomped by Big Russ. And now, Big Russ, ground and pound to McCoy, punching away at the frat boy. And McCoy now rolling out of the ring. Warren Swanson getting his ass whooped by Big Russ, but Warren showing some fight. And now Big Russ kicking away at Warren Swanson, picking Warren Swanson up for a big power slam. Pinning Warren Swanson. And Warren Swanson kicking out at the one count. And now we have McCoy reaching under the ring, but Lincoln Burns stopping him in his tracks. And now Big Russ picking Warren Swanson up over his shoulders for a big power bomb. And Big Rush showing strength here tonight. And just towering over that top rope. And Big Rush, 450 pounds on the top rope, jumping onto McCoy and missing his jump. And now cracking away at McCoy with big right hands. And Lincoln Burton throwing Warren Swanson into the steel steps. And Big Rush now reaching under the ring and he's got the foldable table, the IWA Universe's favorite weapon. And now Big Russ setting the table up. And Big Russ making his way towards Warren Swanson, the IWA champion. And Big Russ, Irish whip to Warren Swanson. And now Big Russ grabbing Warren Swanson. Lincoln Burren with a big jackhammer to McCoy through the table. And Warren Swanson now gonna go and power bomb 450 pounds of Big Russ into the air. And Blink and Burn with a power slam to McCoy. And Warren Swanson with a pinfall. And Big Russ kicking out immediately. Oh, and a big right hand from Big Russ. And McCoy charging up. And Big Russ just dismantling Warren Swanson. And now Big Russ dropping. The elbow onto Warren Swanson from ringside. And Big Russ now clearing the announce table. Lincoln Burren kicks out of the two count. Big Russ didn't even bother to break up the pin. He had that much faith in Lincoln Burton. And Big Russ throwing Warren Swanson into the referee. And now Big Russ 
punching Warren Swanson in the gut and grabbing Warren Swanson. Irish whip towards the announce table. And McCoy picking Lincoln Burren up. And McCoy, snake eyes to Lincoln Burren. Big Russ grabbing Warren Swanson, throwing him towards the announce table, but Warren Swanson reversing the Irish whip. And Warren Swanson getting elbowed by Big Russ. Big Russ throwing Warren Swanson towards the announce table. And now Big Russ driving the face of Warren Swanson into the announce table. Lincoln Byrne getting thrown by McCoy. And Big Russ picking Warren Swanson up, throwing him inside the ring. And McCoy watching his partner get elbow dropped by Big Russ. Big Russ kicking McCoy. And McCoy, Irish whip to Big Russ, over the top rope he goes. The big man going over the top rope. And McCoy going for the pinfall, but to no avail. And Warren Swanson exiting the ring the moment Big Russ entered. And McCoy busting the ass of Lincoln Burton. Ooh, and Big Russ with a bitch slap to Warren Swanson. And Big Russ now grabbing McCoy and slapping him. And Big Russ, big right hand to Warren Swanson, knockout punch. And Big Russ going for the pinfall victory. And McCoy breaking up the pinfall, but Warren Swanson, he's knocked out right now. And Big Russ is continuing to beat the shit out of him. And McCoy grabbing Lincoln Burton, power slam. And here's Big Russ, the only man standing. Grabbing the door. Cracking Warren Swanson with the door. And a fireman toss by McCoy. And a bitch slap by Big Russ. And now Big Russ missing the right hand on Warren Swanson. Lincoln Burton smacking Warren Swanson with the Slim Jim. McCoy getting thrown in the ring. Lincoln Burton beating the shit out of Warren Swanson with the Slim Jim. And Big Russ beating the shit out of McCoy. A big knockout punch by Big Russ. And McCoy is knocked out in the middle of the ring. Two count, three count. Big Russ and Lincoln Burton victorious here tonight. A partnership we never thought we would see. Big Russ, Lincoln Burton dismantling McCoy and Warren Swanson here tonight. And if you enjoyed tonight's show, be sure to tune in to Summer Slugfest this Thursday, September 5th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is Marty Feldspar. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.